hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ade here again if you see me for the first time my name is ade and i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle if you're an existing subscriber thank you so much for always always coming back i i know that by now you know that this truly and really really means a whole lot to me okay so before i dive into today's video i want to say another huge and big thank you for all your congratulatory messages in my last video my last life update video if you've not seen that video i'm going to have it linked up in the description box and also on the icard so that you could go catch up on the life updates okay so thank you so much for all of your lovely wishes you guys know how to cut onions <laughs> thank you okay so like I said in my last video, today's video is going to be all about answering and um, question tags that I put up in my um, Instagram page. So I'm going to be answering them to, in today's video. Um, so it's all about, um, you know, everything I talked about in my, in my life of this. So if you've not watched it, again, go and catch up, okay? So if this is something you're interested in, do not go anywhere. Stay right there and keep on watching. <music> So I'm going to be answering the first question now. The first one says, how are you enjoying the second time mom experience? Congrats once again. Thank you so much. Okay, how am I, ex how am I enjoying this experience? I think the only way I'm enjoying it is because um, I've got help. Yeah, you know, I've got help with baby and all of that. Aside from that, it's... I don't know if if enjoying is the is the right word to use, but I would just say I'm managing it all well to the glory of God. You know, having a toddler and a baby is not this okay. <laughs> it is not it is not a joke. It is almost times one hundred times one thousand. <laughs> it's not a joke, honestly, guys. It is not a joke at all. So yeah, I think having help is as has, has really really helped me a whole lot honestly so like i said i'm not sure if enjoying is the right word but i'm just soaking in all of the moments i mean there are moments where you know everybody is they're both not crying you know <laughs> and you know we i'm just in that um atmosphere of just being grateful to god like Ooh, oh mom of two and all of that you know but yeah aside from that you know i'll just say i'm managing it all well and yeah thanks thanks again for your congratulatory message okay the next one is um birth vlog okay so i did not do any birth vlog like i explained in my last video um this journey is um you know it's it's, it's somewhat very very private for me it's somewhat very very you know i i i like to soak it up all by myself and share as you know as i'm led you know so yeah there's no birth vlog i've got a couple of clips here and there but that's just for me and me alone okay so yeah there's no birth vlog the next one is share your pregnancy process how was it mm. okay let me just start by saying that no two pregnancies is the same no two pregnancies is the same at all like it's all different you think like oh you already know what to expect in this trimester you already know what to expect in that trimester of course you're going to have some similarities here and there but it's definitely may or may not be exactly the same so i'm going to just share for example so for my first pregnancy with my toddler with my son it was of course my first time it was it was nice it was just the first trimester you know all the all the old um morning sickness i think i only had money sickness train up maybe once or twice or three times at the maximum you know but for the second one i had symptoms going up until the second trimester because i remember vividly very very well in my first pregnancy i i believe that all the money sickness everything stopped at exactly seven weeks i can remember very well at exactly seven weeks all of those all of those things stopped and i can categorically tell you that i enjoyed my journey from that moment onwards up until the very end but for the second one i just could not wait to have this baby <laughs> i just could not wait like it is so different it is so different if you're a second time mom or a third time or a fourth time or a fifth time mom please share me your experience in the comment section you know all of this is just to encourage um ttc moms uh, moms that are about to have their babies you know just for them to have an idea of what to expect if they are going into their second pregnancy or if they are just in their you know 
experiencing their first one so all of this is just for us to encourage each other and i already know that by now you know that this is what my channel is about i love to encourage people a whole lot it is it is it is who i am you know it is a huge part of me it is a huge chunk of me so yeah let us encourage one another in the comment section okay so please share me your experience or your experiences as the case may be now the next um question is how does a second pregnancy differ from the first one i think i just said it like it's it's different for some it might be the same but for myself it was totally different like i said again there are some similarities here and there but you know it's 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 it different it is different i think the only thing is that you know what to expect okay you know that okay at this point um you're you're feeling a certain way you know that you actually felt that certain way in the first time so you are not overly you're not panicking okay you are not like oh my god what is going on oh my god what is happening to me oh my god what am i feeling this way you already know you already have an idea or you already have a knowledge of all of that so yeah i would say that um it differs okay it differs but you already know what to expect i think that's one advantage to it okay so the last question I, I have here is your how was your mental well-being in the second pregnancy I, well my, my my mental well-being okay so i am a kind of person that i love to take care of my mental space a whole lot coupled with the fact that it was kind of during the pandemic when when the second pregnancy happened so and the, there were lots of news flying up and there here and there rather and i think that was a period yeah that was a period where you know this baba jesha whatever happened this child molestation thing happened and i was just pissed to my nerves like you know a lot of things happened so things like that triggers my mental well-being it triggers my mental my mental health you know it triggers my emotions you know so i tried as much as possible to stay away from social media okay and that was one of that was one other reason why i stayed off social media for some time okay i would come here i would come on here and there you know but i limited the amount of time i spent on social media because of all of the things that were happening you know all over the world you know this person you you read the news about this person oh this person passed on from this and this oh this person is was molested you know you, ugh. You know a, a whole lot of news were, were just you know flying about around that period so i i took conscious effort to take care of my mental health you know i i monitored what i read i monitored what you know i i watched and all of that coupled with the fact again that that period like i said to me is a very very delicate period is a period where you can easily start you know start to fear fear for no reason you know i explained this in my last life update video you know fear setting by you know by virtue of you reading this watching this watching that you know i remember that <laughs> few days to um having few days to um having my baby i actually watched fatherhood on netflix and you know it just it just stirred up a, a whole lot of emotions in me although when all of those things started coming i just i i started count countering them with prayer and the word of god and affirmations yes affirmations are very very important those that's one of the things or yeah that's one of the things that helped me to you know to put my mental well-being or to put my mental health in check as well okay affirmations helped me a whole lot i i did a whole lot of affirmation i will not return empty my car seat will not be empty uh, nothing in my hands would die i would not die my child would not die you know affirmations like that you like you have to like believe them you have to strongly affirm them you have to strongly say them and you have to you know you have to you have to believe them okay yeah so those those are the things that helped me to put my mental health in check i hope i've answered that question yes how was your mental well-being yes i i basically put it in check you know yeah so those that's all of these questions that's all of the question tag if you still have more questions about um being a second time mom and all of that you can still drop it in the comment section and i'm going to film um another video 
depending on how much they are okay so i really do hope that you've enjoyed this video please don't know, do not forget again okay um share me your experiences in the comment section whether you're first time second third fourth fifth time mom okay let us encourage each other like i said okay um i forgot to mention this in my um life of the video i don't know how i forgot to ttc moms uh, watching me i pray with you i join my faith with you by the special grace of God, that God Almighty Himself is going to answer all of your secret prayers. I know that you are not going to wait in vain. I know that by the grace of God, you are also going to celebrate and carry your bundle of joys. Yes, it might be delayed, but trust me, delay is not denial. It might not be easy, but I know that with God and with the grace of God, it's going to see you through. And you are going to come on here. You are going to send me emails emails sharing your sharing your testimony sharing your experience sharing your thoughts to say oh Adi, i watched your video i was encouraged and you know here it is you know i just hope that all of that and more is going to happen to you and everyone around you okay like i always say continue to stay safe stay blessed and stay in god i love you and god loves you too Bye. Bye.